Welcome to this week's Chinuch Hashkofa message. It's Parshas Vo'eschanan. I want to focus on a conversation that we could have with our children and also some strategies of how to instill this value based on this week's Parsha, the concept of how to approach a mitzvah. We have Taryag mitzvahs, we have 248 mitzvahs asay, shasam mitzvahs lois asay, uh, many of them, of course, we can't keep, but the ones that we could keep, how do we approach a mitzvah? What I mean by that is, it's very, it's it's so important that we bring out with our children and we create that culture, that mitzvahs create a reality. In other words, with every mitzvah, we become connected with Hashem. As the famous word is that the mitzvah, the word mitzvah comes from the expression of tzafsa, tzafsa v'chibur. It's connection. It's an Aramaic word, connection with Hashem. But that connection can only happen, number one, we need to be excited about that connection happening, so it happens through doing the mitzvah, but it can only happen if you keep the mitzvah properly. So these themes are very much brought out in this parasha. First of all, we find at the beginning of the parasha that Moshe Rabbeinu was, so, was desperate, so to speak, to go into Eretz Yisrael, and Chazal tell us why. Why was, did he want to go into Eretz Yisrael? V'chi... Uh, did he want to eat from the fruit? But of course, as Chazal tell us, Moshe Rabbeinu wanted to go into Eretz Yisrael because he, there are mitzvahs that you can only fulfill in Eretz Yisrael. He wanted the mitzvahs to be fulfilled through him. He wanted, he wanted to do those mitzvahs that you can do in Eretz Yisrael. We also have a little bit later in the parasha where we learn the mitzvah of Loisoy Sifu and Loi Sigru. Not to add on to a mitzvah, not to take away from a mitzvah. And by extension, this goes to all of the details of the mitzvah. To bring out this concept that we write a mezuzah, if one letter is cracked, the whole mezuzah doesn't work. If, if the mitzvah is not done properly according to all of its halachas, called coined all of its basic halachas, the mitzvah doesn't work. Incidentally, just to share a vart that you can share, it's always nice to share a chap and a good vart with children to spark the interest for a bit of the older children. There's a beautiful vart on not adding and not subtracting from mitzvahs. And this word comes from Likute Levi Yitzchak, Arav Levi Yitzchak Shneis, and the father of the Lubavitcher Rebbe. And he says the word like this, he says that there are Ramach mitzvahs say There are 248 positive mitzvahs. There's a posuk which tells us, it's a posuk that mentions the word sukkah, and it mentions that sukkah is a protection. The word, the sukkah, the, the, the surrounding of a sukkah is a protection Mizerem umimotor from storm and from excessive rain. Zerem and motor. The gematria of zerem is 247. The gematria of motor is 249. Sukkah is a mitzvah that you fulfill with every part of you, all your 248 limbs. And the symbolism behind it is that it's a protection. We understand that when we commit it to the mitzvahs the way they are, it protects us from zerem, taking away from the mitzvahs, and motor, adding to the mitzvahs. Just a nice word. But back to the concept, this idea of being committed to mitzvahs, number one, having the love and the excitement of keeping mitzvahs, but on the other hand, also having the kabbalah's oil, the commitment, the discipline, that the halachas of the mitzvahs is important. We learn this from Estrog. If Estrog has a couple of black spots, it becomes possible. If the lulav is split, Every mitzvah has details. When we make Kiddush on Friday night, the cup has to be full. So the, the importance of learning Shulchan Aruch, the importance of not to ignore, not to overlook the specifics of the mitzvahs because it's like a marshal of an electrician who says, you know, what difference does it make if uh, this is a good marshal to give to children? What difference does it make if, you know, if I put this red wire here and the yellow wire there or do it the other way around? It makes a difference. If we wire it incorrectly, it doesn't work. The lights don't go on. Same thing, every mitzvah creates a connection with Hashem. Every mitzvah brings down a, a revelation of godliness in the world. And if we don't do it properly, it doesn't work. However, I want to point out from a parenting point of view to be very careful how we instill this concept with children. So obviously by talking about it, sharing these ideas, sharing it a lot of times, talking about it a lot with, with excitement. But this idea of being exact and following the specifics of the mitzvahs doesn't actually work if we do it harshly or if we impose it harshly with children do it this way don't do it that way why did you why did you not do it exactly right all those things create negativity normally and they don't work similarly similarly with like with davening 
If you keep on standing over your child and saying, look at every word, say every word, why aren't you pointing in the siddha and so on and so forth, normally that doesn't bring good results. So obviously, obviously we need to have a discipline and we need to expect from our children to fulfill mitzvahs. But a much better way of instilling this attitude, this mindset of being careful with every detail and, have, and understanding how the details of mitzvahs are important and the excitement to do mitzvah is equally important. We need to, first of all, show an example. They need to be able to see us doing that, seeing us being very careful with the way we keep mitzvahs and with the way we keep halacha down to its last detail. But also we need to try and involve children in a positive way. For example, not so long is going to become is, is, is going to be sukkahs. Young children, take them along with you when you go and buy a lulav and an esther. Show them what you're looking for. Show them the, the, the details. If you need to have your tefillin and mezuzahs checked, show, maybe you have an opportunity to show them what it looks like inside and explain to them what the sofa is looking for. You're looking for the most minutest mistake because that will invalidate, that will puzzle the whole tefillin and mezuzahs. Another thing, another way to do it is also share with children shyless that you ask, if it's appropriate. If you have a shyla to ask her of, a spoon fell into a thing and it makes a difference if it's cold, if it's hot, if it's 24 hours, not 24 hours. Ex share that experience. First of all, they see that when you have a shyla you ask her of. Second of all, they, they understand the stories, understand the details. It makes a big difference how big the spoon was, when you last used it for milchiks, for fleshiks, so it was a cold, it was a hot. They get the idea through sharing many of those kind of stories of how important the details and specifics of mitzvahs are. And they understand the importance in a broader sense of not adding to a mitzvah, not taking away from a mitzvah in any way. In other words, to do it exactly right. To do the way Halacha wants us to, to do it and to mekayim the Ratz and Hashem the way it needs to be done. Those are just a few strategies. Obviously, there's more, but I think just for in terms of the discussion, in terms of how we can facilitate that process to instill that value, this is a good way to start. Have a good day and a good Shabbos.